presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, after conquering the Hawkmen with a magic torpedo, Flash Gordon was puzzled by the fact that Zarkov, running out to meet him with upraised hands, had called him friend. Queen Azura assured Flash that it had been a trick to disconcert him. Then she ordered Tall to remove the frozen prisoners to the palace and to take good care of Zarkov, particularly. Tall did as he was ordered. When Dr. Zarkov was brought back to life, he asked for Flash. And Tall told him Flash was under the spell of the Queen's drug of forgetfulness. Then Dr. Zarkov was taken to the kitchen, where he was reunited with Dale Arden, whom he comforted by his promise to use his scientific powers to aid them all. Stung by the lashes of the electric whip, Zarkov saw an opportunity for revenge and escape. The Queen's cooks were roasting the meat between two flaming electrodes. So Zarkov, getting Dale to attract their attention, jumped on a platform and turned the flaming rays of an electrode on the cooks and guards and ordered them to stand back. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Dr. Zarkov, standing on the platform in the kitchen, the flaming ray of an electrode aimed at the chief cook and guard, is calling... Stand back! If you take another step towards Dale Arden, I'll burn you to a crisp! Take their thoughts away from them, Dale. I've got the thoughts, Dr. Zarkov. Good. Now take away those electric whips. I have the whip. Can you find the keys to your monocle? I'll see. Then still you two or I'll roast you like this carcass of meat beside me. Can you find the keys, Dale? Yes, I've got the keys. Undo your monocle. Now, chain those two together. Around that post. There, I have them chained. Now what shall I do? Now we shall... Listen. What is that? They're bringing Khan in from his cell. Where will he be stationed for his work? Right over there. Spread it. Come down this way, Dale, under the ray of the electrodes. They won't notice me standing behind this machine. I will wait until they have stationed Khan, and then I will get the drop on them with the ray. Oh, I'm so glad you came. We never would have done anything without you, Dr. Zarko. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Appreciation always makes a thing worthwhile. Listen, you two. Not a word out of you. And drop to the floor. Do you hear? Drop to the floor. Ah, that's it. Quiet now. Everybody. Oh. Uh, prisoner, step over here. You will be chained to your station as usual. Uh, now, prisoner, stir that soup. Stand back from him, you dog. Prince Sarko. I am glad to see you, Captain Khan. Not as glad as I am to see you. Stand back there, you men. I have this electrode trained on you. One move out of you other than I direct, and I will fix you so the Queen herself would not know you from this carcass here. Oh, isn't this wonderful, Khan? Indeed it is, Princess. One of you men will release Captain Khan. At once. Do you hear at once, or I'll turn this ray up? That's got him, Prince Arthur. Just wait until these manacles get off. Oh. There. Now. Oh, but it feels good to have those things off. Now, what can I do, Prince Arthur? Chain those guards up like the others. The others? Oh, I didn't see them lying over there. How did you catch them? The same way he did these. And then they'll chain them, just like you are going to chain those lads there. Good work, Princess. You're a brave girl. Here, you. Hold still. Mm. There. All right. You're next. Come on, put your hands behind your back. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you do a good job, Con. After what these boys have done to me... That warning is hardly necessary, Princess. All right, you. You're next. Well, I don't know. Here, hold still. <laughs> hold still, I said. <laughs> what is this trouble, Captain Khan? What he mind you? Just step back from him, my little. I will give him a taste of his flaming ray. No, no, turn that thing away. I'll put my hands behind my back. Thanks, Prince Zarkov. But I think one good poke in his jaw from me and he'd have behaved. That's what you'll get if you give me any trouble, you over there. That is right. Do not let them try anything with you. All right. Now I'll take you. 
Oh, you've decided to use your head and put your hands behind your back, eh? That's good. It certainly makes it easier for both of us. There. Now, you're safe for a while. Good. Now we are in control of the kitchen. Let's take over the rest of the palace. Yes, then we can escape. Children, children. I see how fortunate it is that I was brought here. That would not do at all. Never do what you can get someone else to do for you. Well, what do you mean? We shall get control of the palace, all right. In fact, we shall have control of the whole land. How wonderful. But we must proceed to do one thing at a time. Well, then, what's next? Tal said Flash was under the spell of the Queen's drug of forgetfulness. He did? And we were right all the time, Prince. Yes, Khan. So you knew that, eh? Yes. Then why did you not find out how it was being given to him, eh? I did try, Prince Arkoff. How? I watched every morsel of food that was sent to him. It was taken from the same pans and kettles as Queen Azura's food. Well? And nothing was put in it, here in the kitchen. I apologize, Captain Khan. You are not wasting your time. Well, then, if the drug was not put in the food before it left the kitchen, when was it put in? Well, Dale served the food to Flash. Well, what did you see when you served the food, Dale? Both the Queen and Flash took portions of the same dishes as I passed them around. I never saw her make a motion towards them after she helped herself. And the drug could not have been put in the food. Here comes Tal. Guard. He is just the man we want to see. Guard. Where are... Why, uh, what are you doing, Cain, like this? Just what you will be doing if you cause us any trouble, Tal. Oh, the prisoner. Uh, stop. I'll take your hands off me. All I... right. I have him securely held, Penzarkov. Darkoff. Yes, that is my name. Does it mean anything to you? Yes, you are the great scientist. The wizard of the Earth people. Oh, that is true. Yes. That's who Dr. Zarkoff is. Ah, now I understand the Queen's orders. What were her orders? You were to be revived with particular care. Why, may I ask? I, I see it all now. Azura appointed Flash Gordon over me as commander-in-chief of all the armies. Now she wants you carefully preserved. A fool that I am. Why couldn't I see it before? What I... is he talking about? Does anybody know? I'm sure I don't know, Princess. Nor I. What are you talking about, Tal? Azura plans to get rid of me. She's planning on having you to replace me. What? Uh, she's tired of me. She wants new faces around her. She'd give me the drug of forgetfulness if it wasn't that I am the only one who can make it for her. <laughs> That's the only thing that prevents her from doing away with me. <laughs> there will be just one thing that will prevent us from doing away with you, Tal. Uh, What's that? You're telling us how Azura gives Flash the drug of forgetfulness. Ah, uh, yes. You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? We would. Yes, yes. Uh, of course, to be sure. And what is more, we mean to find out. Paul knows more than he will admit. Maybe he carries the drug on him. That is an idea worth considering. Thank you, Dale. Come and search him, Prince Arthur. Yes, search if you like. Certainly we shall search. Uh, uh, nothing. He has nothing on him. What is mm. His sword. I think we can use it to better advantage than he can. Tal, a while ago you pressed the point of this against my chest while I asked you questions about life. Well... One move and you would have run it through me. You said so. And so I should. Now I press it against your chest while I ask another question. And a wrong answer or no answer at all and I will drive it through you. Like a tailor's needle through a patch of cloth. And if his hand falters, mine will finish the job with the greatest of pleasure. Remember that, wizard. Uh, what? What do you wish to know? Tell me, how does Azura give life the drug of forgetfulness? Well? Remember what I said, Tal. Uh, she puts the drug in his vaco. Vaco? His uh. wine. That's why she keeps calling for it and proposing toast and offering it to him as a forceman. Why, of course. Is that true, Tal? Yes, every day she gives it to him in a special two-handled flagon. This? Yes, yes, that is the one. I ha it has uh, some lithium in it now. Hey, that is the one you took to Azura by Tal's order soon after they brought me here. Yes. So that is how Flash has been given the drug. Oh, I've been giving it to him myself. <laughs> yes, you have been drugging your own sweetheart. And keeping him from recognizing you. <laughs> you must ever forgive me. Why, of course, Princess. You didn't know you were giving him the drug. I'll never take any more in. Oh, yes, you will. What? Just one more.
That night, when the eyes of the dragon flash, the signal that Queen Azura wishes more Vako brought in, Dale takes in the tray with the same two flagons as before. Ah, here comes the Vako, my prince. And the slave girl is more prompt than usual. So she is, my queen. I'm glad of it. My throat's dry. Help yourself, Flash. The two-handled flagon is yours, you know. Yes, I'll get it, Azura. Thanks. No. Wait. Eh? What is the meaning of this presumption, slave? Flash, Azura has drugged your vodka. You lie, slave. What are you saying, girl? In that two-handled flagon is lithium, the drug of forgetfulness. Oh, pay no attention to the girl, Flash. She must be mad. Don't touch that flagon. Every time you have emptied this flask, you have renewed this wicked queen's power over you. She has caused you to forget who I am, who you are. Flash, don't listen to her. I'll have her drawn and quartered for this. Hey, God! It won't do you any good to call for your guards, Azura. They won't answer you. Flash, tell me you don't believe what this slave is saying. Well, it seems hard to believe. It is a lie. A lie. Here, Flash. Take this flagon. If she has not drugged it, then let her drink from it. Yes. Here, Azura. Drink this and prove that the slave girl is wrong. Flash, you, you don't believe me, and I thought you loved me. Don't listen to her, Flash. Words mean nothing. Get her to drink from the flagon. Of course she'll drink from it. Won't you, Azura? Here. I... No. No, no, I, I will not touch your drink. What? There, you see? She won't drink it. It's drugged, just as I told you. I tell. Azura, I believe you did drug my drink. We'll soon find out. Now, follow this. No, no, Come on, follow it. Oh, I... I can't remember anything. Where... Where am I? What happened? Who am I? Who... Who am I? So it's true, Dale. Yes, Flash, darling. He's been drugging you. Your Flash. What? The man who called me friend. Tog says this medicine should bring back your memory. If you have not been under the influence of the lithium too long... Drink this. Quickly, Flash. Yes, quickly, Flash. Drink. Has Flash been under the influence of the Queen's magic drugs too long? What will happen now? Are you following the picture version of these thrilling adventures in the big full-page comic weekly, which is distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper? In order to completely enjoy the radio program, you should know what Flash Gordon and Dale Arden look like. And Paul, Dr. Zarkov, Queen Azura, Khan, and all the other amazing characters who appear in the series. You will find them all vividly portrayed in full-colored action pictures each Sunday in the big Comic Weekly. And only in the Comic Weekly, the world's foremost collection of humor and adventure is now published in full-page sizes, not a tabloid and is just crammed full of the funniest merrymakers and the most daring adventurers in the world of pictures. So be sure that you get the big full-page Comic Weekly next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Get acquainted with all the characters and be ready next week at the same time for another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. <laughs>